Big thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring today's video. <coughs> Hi friends, happy Slow Fashion Friday. My name is Lori. Today is a day that I typically hold out on shopping and thrifting um, in order to declutter. I've been doing this for several months now, but today it is January 12th, I believe. And I am doing kind of just a set the stage for some good habits in the year. I'm gonna be pulling some sales. I'm not gonna have a huge reveal at the end. What I did do though, is I did a deep dive into cleaning out some of my inventory bins. That is something that is super long overdue. I already filmed it with Tina yesterday. It's about a 15 minute clip. So I'm gonna put it at the end of this video in case people are not interested in seeing the real nitty gritty, tedious play-by-play -play what we did. But if you're interested, I will put timestamps in so you can check it out at the end of this video. I am just waiting for my girlfriend to pick me up because one of my friends, it's her birthday today and we're going out for Mexican food to celebrate. So we're just gonna jump back to this morning. I'll show you some of the things that I did um, to get my day started. Rocco says hello. He is actually on his way to get a new passport because he decided two days ago. Um. Yeah, about a day ago. <laughs> that he's going to Ireland for spring break. So he needs a new he needs a new passport. Hopefully it will come in on time, honey. It might be homeless, so if you were live in Ireland and you have a place to stay <laughs> and you want to accept two broke college students, you are more than welcome to. We will ex we will accept food and drink. All hospitality will be welcome. Anything. anything I said, Rocco, what's your plan? He's like, I don't know, we might sleep on the train, find a few hostels. Hoping we get a little a little bit more nailed down before he hops on the flight, but we'll see. Uh, I have a bunch of things to do. And one of the things I also wanna do is get an order put together to go to the real real. So let's hop back in time and then I'll meet you back in real time. Maybe, maybe we'll say hi to all my friends at the restaurant. I hope you guys are having a great day. Who's a pokey boy? Who's a pokey? So funny story. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the Cardinal right there? He comes, he has been visiting me since before Christmas. He comes every single day. Do you love seeing the Cardinal when he comes? I also got this plaque from somebody on Amazon. And you know, it's, it's all about missing a loved one. So it's unbelievable how frequently that Cardinal is here but I like to think it's my dad visiting, but he is here all the time. I'm thinking about putting like a little feeder out here or something for him. Right, Lumpy? <laughs> so right now it is 10.15 in the morning and I am uploading a video to my second channel, uh, which is all about fountain pens. And I uploaded it to YouTube and I used an old song from my old library of music and it's licensed now. It used to be copyright free and that happens sometimes. So sadly, this video can't get monetized. I don't make a ton of money on this channel, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. If it were for my main channel, I would probably um, change the music and re-upload, but I just wanna get something loaded here. Okay, there we go. Save those changes, and I'm gonna post this and then go pull some sales. This is my new Terra Cafe machine that I got. I got the, the T2. I'm so excited. Okay, Rocco, what would you like, honey? I'm taking a quick little uh, espresso shot. You want just a quick espresso? They also do, I can do a drip for you. No, I'm gonna do espresso. Do you want double? Do we have coconut milk? We do. We also have your oat milk too, if you want that. Oat milk. Espresso, hang tight while it warms up. Okay. We have almond milk. It's almond and coconut combo. Mm. Will I that work this. for you? I do an espresso shot. You want it iced? And I do. Al almond milk, I guess. And then I do pink Himalayan salt and raw honey before my workouts. Really? Mm -hmm. Good natural energy. Okay. It's gonna melt. The honey's gonna melt in there and then we're gonna put it ice. Okay, so here is the Rocco special. We do the raw honey. We put it, you might have to help me so I can hold this camera. Right. <laughs> You're gonna put that into the espresso. We did two shots of espresso. I only have Rocco for what, two more days? Two or one, who knows? Oh my goodness, you never know with this boy. I gotta put a flight and then I'm heading out. Okay, putting a lot in there. Okay, you might want more milk, no? No, that's good. That's good, Rocco. All right, love ya. Have a good workout. Forgot my wallet. 
This is my coffee lately. I've been doing Noom, so instead of doing like the Coffee Mate creamer in the morning, I've been doing protein shake. This is 160 calories. Usually takes me two days to finish a container with my morning coffee, so I count that as 80 calories with my coffee. It's really good. Look at our closet. Everything is tote scanned in here. We have come so far with the shoes. As I've sold them, we just keep updating um, the boxes and stuff. And there's one thing in particular that I'm really excited to show you. Okay, these sold almost immediately. These are from my Boston Bins haul. Um, these are fry boots. I listed them for $89. They cost me $17. I think this was a very fair price. Some people had these priced over $150, but they're in really great shape. Anyways, sold immediately on eBay for $89. This is what I wanted to share with you. We are finally at the point where we have no boots, no boots on the ground. And actually we're doing okay with space, like little things that may not seem like a lot, but we have a spot right there. We have a spot over there. We're just like, we can breathe, we can breathe. There's a spot in that box right there. And these bins aren't like crazy overflowing. It's really unbelievable what we've been able to do. That water is not good for you, honey. No, 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 no. All right, another really fast sale. Um, most of the things I'm pulling today are from the Boston haul that I just did. I found so many items that were new with tag. This is a Robert Graham. I'm almost wondering if I priced, priced this too low. His pricing is all over the place. I mean, realistically, I only paid $4. And what you pay isn't always how you price things. You price things according to the market, or at least I do. Um, I started this basically half off. I think I priced it at $99. Someone liked it. So I offered 10% off. They accepted immediately on Poshmark. So this was about $89, $88, $89. All right, I have my YouTube audience to thank for this because this is a sweater from Lululemon that I found um, only from the feel of it because it wasn't marked anywhere until I hunted for this little tag here. This is called the All Around Sweater. So thank you so much. I think I had two or three people swipe up. Again, some people had this listed for like $90, $100. I think it retailed for $198. I only paid like five or $6. I priced it at $68. Um, somebody had put it in a bundle who purchased something else, but then somebody else came in and bought it at full price before anybody else. So I don't know. These two items, I probably could have priced higher, but the way that I look at it, I'm really happy these move so quickly and my profit margins were massive. So $68 for that. And then the other thing that sold was a pair, the on cloud sneakers that I washed and they came out so nice and those sold for $70. They came out so nice. Um, yes, yeah, so again, these sold for $70. I can't believe the profit margins on all of these, but my goal when I set out was to find things that were either gonna flip fast or flip for more than $35. These did both. <laughs> they flipped for above 35 and they flipped fast. And this is so cool because all of the footage that you're going to see at the end of our video where we go through, we manually go through videos. I'm keeping it till the end, like I mentioned, because it's like 15 minutes long. It's a little tedious, I'm not going to lie. But if you want to see the process in real time, you can do that. But we cleared out these two bins. Look at how clean this bin is. So this particular item that sold, everything's folded. I hate to go in there. Hold on one sec. Okay, so this Cape Cod sweatshirt which you will see us um, talking about in a few minutes. This was in the bin. It was drafted in Vendu, but it was never listed. So this was something that existed in my inventory. We don't know how long. Photos were taken, but it wasn't listed anywhere. So I listed it yesterday and it sold the same day. I've probably sold like eight to 10 Cape Cod sweatshirts. Every time I find them, I like to pick them up. So these are my sales. I have to get to lunch with my friends. Lumpy, do you see a bird? All right, we did not rent this place, but you would think it's a private party. These are all my girls. You guys know Marguerite and Lisa. There's the birthday girl, Julie and Miss Nora came up from Cape Cod to see us. And Rita and Maureen. Hey girls, hey, yay. Oh my God. Love my friends. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Julie. 
All right, we just got back from lunch. I put that in air quotes because now it is 4.15 and we left at one o'clock. So I can tell you right now that this is gonna be a very late upload. This is gonna be a slow fashion Friday video that gets posted at 11.55, which seems to be the trend lately. Come on, did you play with Rocco? Did Rocco come home and play? Come on. It's time to get down to business. I am back in my office and I am going to start preparing for my Whatnot show. So big thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring today's video. If you're not sure what Whatnot is, Whatnot is an app that you can buy and sell things in a live format. So it's kind of like shopping my Poshmark closet, except instead of looking at photos, you get to interact with me and I'm live. And so I can point out all the details of items. I really like buying style-based items that I get super excited about for whatnot that may not drive the attention on Poshmark because it's not like a super brand name. It's really fun, it's interactive, I do giveaways. I'll be hosting my next live stream this Sunday, January 14th at 10 a.m. It's my breakfast club and a lot of people have asked me if I am planning on doing any other times. For my West Coast friends, it's at 10 a.m. in the morning, so it's 7 a.m. West Coast time, but the benefit of that is you can just lay in bed and watch. That's kind of fun for a Sunday morning, but I do plan on streaming in the evening, especially in the upcoming months. My goal is to do a live stream twice a month through the end of the winter is kind of what I'm shooting for before like things pick up again in the spring, just life seems to get busier in the spring. So I'll probably always do one on my Sunday morning and then I'm hoping to do one like on a Thursday night or maybe I'll be in a store thrifting and I can take you with me and something fun. I wanna do something creative in the upcoming months. If you've never used the app before, I have a really great promotion for you. Um, anytime you sign up for Whatnot, if you download the app and you use my link, you get $15 to spend on your first purchase. You can shop during my live stream or you can shop anybody else's live stream and there are shows all day long, all day, all night. You can type in things that you're looking for. If you're a reseller, you can purchase stuff. You can use that $15 and then sell it online or you can treat yourself to something in the new year. It's actually great because typically my items sell for a little bit less on whatnot. Some things would sell for more. It really just depends on the item. I keep looking because I have my activewear party all set up. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I have. But yeah, I will leave a link in the description. And if you wanna come by and say hello, I would love to see you on Sunday morning. And you can always ask questions during the live stream. That's another great thing. If you wanna see a close up, if you want fabric content, sometimes if an item will fit me, I'll try it on so you can see a fit on someone of my frame. So there are a lot of benefits to shopping live sales and selling live sales because as a reseller, um, I'm able to move a lot of items at one time. Tina and I, I think, have been through six bins. And so some of the things that you're gonna see in the show are things that we pulled from the bins. And it's not just like stuff I wanna get rid of. Some of the stuff has been listed a long time, but we have Athleta, we have Aloe, we have Lululemon, lots of great brands. And I thought January was a really good time to have an athletic wear show. So let's switch over and I will show you what's in the show. So when I run my whatnot shows, I have this uh, unit that I purchased specifically for whatnot. I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around. Hold on. So I have this double rod rack that I ordered from Amazon. It used to be very pretty and aesthetic because when I first started on whatnot, I would include this as my background. Now I usually put my camera right around here facing me. And so you don't really see the stuff that I'm pulling, but the system that I use is I have the stuff up top here. And after I run I run an item for like 20 to 30 seconds. If it sells, I bring it down and I hang it on this rack. These things over here are things that I have prepped for a future show. So these are Lululemon. These are, oh, this is, I think the brand Therese, which is kind of a cool brand, Therese. We have all different sizes. I think that's Gap. This is Gymshark. Um, this is Nike. We have all sorts of different things. I showed these in my last Thrift With Me video. I got these Spanx. There's already a bid on these, so that's another thing. I'm starting all of these items at just $3. It's a fantastic time to jump on. You can get some really great deals. So this one um, already has a bid on it. Another new feature on Whatnot is you can go in and you can say if you're interested in something and set up a notification so that you get notified when I'm running the item. So that way you don't have to like wait around for an entire show to get to something. You can be notified when something you specifically want is being listed. I think these are 
90 degrees. We have all sorts of, this is a Madewell shirt. These are actually vineyard vines, but so much athletic wear. I pulled so many things. We have Victoria's Secret Sport. We have 1X. This is something that you're going to see that we pull. Um, it had this little flaw. It is a Prana jacket, and we decided to pull it because it had this little hole in the elbow. So someone might get a really great deal on this. This I also just thrifted. It's a Swiftly Tech tank from Lululemon. So I think I have 48 pieces all athletic wear or like cozy wear. Like I have a couple cover-ups like that you could wear to and from the yoga studio. So the preparation for a party can be lengthy depending on how you want to do it. I see a lot of people that they just hold things up. They don't make a big production of it. It's kind of like you don't know what they're going to pull out of their bag next. I tend to like to include images so people can shop ahead of time, but you definitely don't have to do that. But I think for my buyers, they can appreciate what's coming. They can look and see if there's something they want to stick around for. Sometimes if I have more flexibility or time, I'll work out of order. I'll take requests from people, um, but it's really fun. So I hope you'll join me. Are you destroying your little ducky? Is that good lumps? Is that good? Yum. Oh, delicious. I'm here with Rocco's friend. This is, this hello, is hello. the gentleman who he's going to Ireland with. They got their passports today. Or if anybody had a yeah. Yes, Rocco is soliciting my viewers to see if anybody lived in Ireland and wanted to put them out. Okay, so this is Will. I'm asking these young gentlemen for tips on decluttering. How do you how do you live a minimalist life, Will? Yeah, you know, it's hard, but uh, you know, I usually, I just look around my room and I say, do I need this? Do I need that? And if I don't need it, out it goes. Are you being honest? No. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you have a lot of clutter though? Well, I you... should throw away things, yeah. Do yeah. you have a lot of clothes, a lot of stuff? You a stuff oh, guy? Oh, yeah. You yeah. do, okay, all right. I wish I could have more clothes, but it's all right. Well, you know where to come if I you need clothes. In. I try if to you knew... in whatever, you know, stuff clothes. from like seventh grade and stuff, but still works for me. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Thanks. You guys know Marcus. What's up, viewers? Um, I feel like Marcus is kind of neat. Am I wrong? Oh, uh, no, I'd say you're right. And I'd say, you know, the biggest decluttering tip would be like, when you think you need a declutter, you just start right away. You don't, you know, if, in, no if and what. What? You just, you just go. That was really good. Yeah, no no ifs, ands, or buts. That, that's like good. Like, if you're sitting there yeah, and you're like, said, screw that. You, yeah, like, there's no tip. You just got to start right away. You just got to do it. If you're thinking about decluttering, do it. Just do it. Marcus, that was really good, actually, because sometimes we'll hesitate yeah. and procrastinate because it seems like too big of a job. Mm -hmm. Just dig in. Just do it. Wow. Lumpy, what are your tips? <laughs> well, the beauty is if you spend most of your money on wine, you just drink it, and there's nothing to declutter. It's all gone. It's disposable. <laughs> um, That's the way to trash <laughs> I'd say don't plan it out because like Marcus said, you're not going to do it. If you're like, oh my God, I got to do this and 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 this. And it's true. If you're just like... Slowly progress, maybe. If you're just going to like, okay, I'm going to start by doing, making my bed. Once the snowball starts piling up, then you're good. So start small. One start small, sure. Yeah. One step at a time. That's actually really good. Okay. <laughs> All right, boys. <laughs> Thank you for your input, and everybody. And All right. Fantastic. We have to stay in Ireland and we did book nice to meet you. Thank so. you. All right, so I'm going to end things for today with those words of wisdom from the 19 year olds in my house. Um, yeah, today was just a catch up. I actually filmed a little bit for what I was going to send to the real reel, but I didn't want to post it because I'm not sure that they're going to take everything. So I'm going to print the label separately and then do a follow up in a future video and let you know what I ended up sending. Now I'm going to shift gears and you guys, if you want to stick around, you can see how we decluttered our inventory. Um, we started with four bins earlier in the week and then we did two more in the session that you're about to see. Um, but it, it, it shows you play by play how Tina and I got through that inventory. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching today. And next week, I'm gonna to have to tackle something big. So we have a big before and after, because I kind of missed that this week. So what Tina and I are doing is we got a bucket from downstairs. We're going through everything in tote scan, making sure it's here in tote scan. Um, and then also cross-referencing to see if it's in Vendu, if it's listed on Poshmark if it's an item that sold, and Tina already found something. What yes, happened? Yes, and this is actually in the bin next, next to, to the it. one. Yep. 
Okay, so it's in inventory, but it's not in bin A. So it must have been pulled bin. out and put yeah. back in the wrong bin. The other thing that we're doing, because we want to phase out tote scan, because it's just proved to be less efficient than we need it to be. So we are going to be adding a SKU to each item in Vendu, um, which uh, is on the bin. So right now we're looking at this Adidas cropped black sweatshirt in a size small. It shows that it is active. We found it, it's listed on both platforms. But here it says it was listed 205 days ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delist and relist this. Delist, um, and then Check out the price, Adidas crop black sweatshirt. We have the color, which is important. We have the brand, we have the size, all in our description there. So I'm probably not gonna change anything. It's been listed for 205 days. So we are gonna bring this price down to $38 and save. And this says I paid $20. This must've been something I bought for Angelina and then she didn't want is my guess because I would not have paid $20 for that otherwise. So now we'll relist it on Poshmark. And when I, um, now I have to delist and relist on eBay. When I relist this, because this is so old, there are going to be a couple things that I need to update. Um, so let me just see if I press relist, it's going to highlight the things I need. Oh, I don't need anything. Let's see. Sometimes eBay makes me add a few more fields, which um, takes a little bit of time. Okay. So next up. Athleta Open Cardigan. Size... Small, tall. Cardigan. If I just search by Athleta, there, oh, here we go. Nirvana, wear two ways, maple red. Okay, so this is a case where it was listed as something else in Tote Scan. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't listed under Nirvana. And this is what makes Tote Scan difficult. So we listed this October of 2023, but now we found it. It's on both things. We'll keep it in inventory and I'll delist and relist this. I don't technically have to delist and relist this because it was just the end of October. Um, however, just for the sake of the experience here, and just to update everything, freshen everything up for the new year. Okay, so now it's, oh, but you know what I'm forgetting to do? I need to do the bin that it's in. So now, oh, Tina already has it in here as SKU A. So as we phase tote scan out, we'll have a SKU where everything belongs. Perfect. Okay, authentic clothing Cape Cod hoodie. Okay. Authentic clothing is the name of the company. Okay, so I'm just gonna do Cape Cod. Because I'm sure that's somewhere in the description. Look Size, at my Cape Cod sweatshirt um, right here. Authentic clothing. Perfect. There we go. Is it not listed? Um, it's not listed anywhere. Isn't that crazy? Okay, um, let me just see. Authentic so clothing. Skew A. Um, no price, no cost of goods. All right, so here we go. This is this is why we're doing this. So let's call that $32 and let's just say five as my average cost of goods. So somehow this got photographed and scanned and put into inventory, but it's nowhere. And, but now we're gonna list it. So look at that, new listing, original price. If I don't know the original price, I usually put zero list. Okay, so eBay's gonna take just a couple minutes here. We'll do $6.99 for shipping, manage payments, uh, style, pullover, regular large department. I guess we can do unisex, but, and that's a hoodie, right? Yes. It's a hoodie, okay. And list on eBay. So there we go. So it's crazy. So, so far we found that the, the Vineyard Vine sweatshirt was in the wrong tote. And we found something that was in the tote, but not listed. So mm -hmm. it's great. Okay. Bro denim Nantucket Bro crew denim. neck sweatshirt. This is one of those um, neat, like a specific. And it says um, app. Okay. Yep. So this was listed March of 2022. This is very expensive retail. I think it's like a local shop, um, either on the islands or... It's yeah, somewhere else in, in Mass. Boston, I something. wonder if I separated the bro in the denim, if that would change anything in the search. I don't know. Um, but I do think I will drop that price from 65 to 50, save it, and then... Does it have tote A? A? Uh, let me see. It is... Yeah. Nope, we don't have the SKU, so we're going to add the SKU, save it, 
and then did I delist it yet? Oh gosh, I don't think so. Delist. So we're going to delist and relist. And this was also at a time where I wasn't cross-listing everything to eBay. So we are also going to do that as well. So this was never listed on eBay. So let's add the stuff here. Um, and then that is women pullover regular. What was the size on that? I also want to make sure bro denim Nantucket customized so, white sweatshirt small. It's got all the all the important info. Okay. So you get the idea. We're going one by one. We just have a few others that we can keep doing here. Everlane short sleeve sweatshirt. The size small. Everlane. Um, there it is right here. Yeah. March of 2022. Okay. So we're going on two years here, friends. So I guess I'll bring that down to 35. Okay. Skew A. Uh, we'll add the skew A. And size is small small and small regular okay i'm gonna save this and if you notice i always try to make my corrections in vendu so then it saves to the marketplaces so now i will go ahead and delist this is great we're getting all these new listings on ebay we're refreshing everything right fantastic so nfl juniors patriots hoodie patriots sparkle hoodie patriots size medium let's see NFL, is this it? Is it? No, no that's sold. Gray. Wow, we have a lot of Patriots gear, but that's uh -huh. not here, I don't okay. think. So, did you uh, do NFL? Let's do NFL. New England. Oh, what if I do New England? New England. So, it's looking like this is not in Vendu. Okay, so when it's not in Vendu, that means that it could be a super old piece. So then if it's not in Vendu, I come over to Poshmark and I search closet. So I would do New England Patriots over here on my search bar. The search is not always the best on Poshmark, but we're just going to see. I think it's just giving you sold. Well, no, because these are all available. Oh, oh, sorry. So it's anything yeah. that, okay. yeah. Uh, let me just do Patriots. It looks like this does not exist anywhere. Oh, Junior. And, is well, this it? That, no. No. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Junior, new NFL Juniors Patriots. Is yes. this it? Yes, it that's is. That's it, because that's got the front. Okay, now we've discovered it. Yep. So, okay, so you know what's interesting is we have this twice in Toad Scan. Twice in Toad Scan. Okay, so we'll delete one. Yep, I'm going to keep it with the this With one. that logo on the front. Okay. So now this isn't in Vendu. So what we can do is we can import it to Vendu as a new thing. But what I've been doing, if it's not in Vendu, is I've been doing the old school way. So first I share the item so it goes to the top of my closet. So I know it's there when I go back. Now I'm going to copy and delete it. So edit. Because this, this is probably from like 2020, which... A lot of the older, older things, maybe even actually probably more like 2019. Like before, when I imported stuff to Vendu, I did not import everything, which was not the best choice. All right. So I'm going to copy the listing. Yes. Um, it's This has probably been listed for, oh gosh, years. Um, okay. Go back to the title then. Got to get rid of this copy or that will show up in your listing. New NFL Junior Patriot Sparkle Hoodie Helmet. Okay, we don't have a size in the listing, so I'm going to say medium. And then I'm also going to say New England. NFL uh, New England Patriots. And I'm also going to add gray sparkle helmet hoodie. Sparkle helmet. I'm going to put the hoodie in a different spot. Sparkle helmet hoodie. Okay. Medium. So we updated the listing. Uh, we have this priced at $25. I think that's fair. They're suggesting 22 to 47. Do I want to increase the price? Is that silly? Let's be crazy. Let's move it up to 30. Next. Um, actually, the Patriots aren't doing so well this year. Maybe I should have put it down to 20. <laughs> and Bill retired. And Bill's all done. Oh, boy. Okay. So, okay. So now we're here. But remember, I copied it. So now I have to go over here to my closet. And these are the two listing. Now I'm going to go in and delete this one. This is what you had to do before Vendu. 
This is why I love Vendu so much because now I'm going to delete this one. Are you sure? Yes. Now I go back to my closet. Now I'm back in my closet. I just have this one. Then you can go over to Vendu and you can import things. So now I want to have everything in Vendu. So we're going to import. So you do new action. Oh, sorry. New item. Choose a marketplace and you can pull things in from other marketplaces. Um, it just takes a long time to populate. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. So I'm going to check that. We're just going to import that into Vendu. Now we're all on the up and up. It shows that it's listed. We're also going to list it on eBay. That's um, awesome. Yeah, it's great that you can do all this stuff. Um, okay. This is a pullover, regular, I would say teens. Yeah, I would teens, juniors. Teens, like medium, hoodie. Yes. Okay, so we're good with that. $30 oh, condition. The nice thing also is on Vendu, it won't let you list something if you if you don't have things, if you don't have all of your fields filled out. Okay, so now we're going to list that on eBay. Oh, but did I put the bin in here? It's a few. Okay, so A. And we even, we did the SKU and we did the room because we have inventory in different rooms. So this is in the studio. So that was good, Tina. We are awesome. That is how we got to do it. Right. Okay. NHL Boston Bruins hoodie size small. Okay. So we'll say Bruins just to start. I don't have a lot of Bruins, so this should pop up right Perfect. away. There it is. Okay. August of 2023. This yep. is pretty straightforward. It's listed on both platforms. It is in SKU A. We got that. So it is August. So I'll delist and relist as we're getting into the season. And you can do it really quickly, relist. And you can even move on to the next item before it even shows that it's delisted. And relist. I probably should have looked at the price. 32. That's cool. Okay. That was a quick one. We like those. Prana zip sweatshirt size large. This should be pretty recent. Charcoal Prana. Yeah. Uh, this looks like size large. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yep. Um... I'm just asking because it's 2021. Yes. Oh, really? It's not recent. Yeah. Oh. It could it could have been a relist Maybe, and a delist, yeah. um, but that's it. And yeah, size large. And then we look at the hands. Like these look like <laughs> these are Caitlin hands. And then we can kind of tell like where things came from. Um, okay. So Prana Charcoal Zip Up Large. So it's listed here. And that was from 2021. So we're going to delist and relist. And can you put... Um the skew A. Oh yeah. Let me go back up here before I want to do, you want to do all your final stuff in the Vendu screen. So we're going to do skew A, $20. I feel like that's worth more than well, 20, don't you? Well, good brand. All right, I'm going to do 30. I, don't know. I think it said something about a little brick. Oh, so okay. Maybe on. that's why. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to put it back down to 20. Um, I wonder if we should put that in the show. Let's pull that. Okay. Let's, we're going to delete that. Um, delisted. Okay. So that's one. I don't want to keep that in my inventory. It's got a small thing. I will awesome. sell. I'll start that at $3 as an auction and then it's out of my inventory. So that's gone. So we delisted. After my whatnot show, I will come in here and I'll mark things sold and what they sold for. So we're, act, we're keeping track of the inventory that way. And then we'll be golden. Perfect. Last one. Last one. And then. So, si Soul Cycle Sweatshirt, size large, um, light blue. We're going to save this. Okay. Un actually, under SKU, I'm going to say whatnot. Perfect. Um, actually, that was something we were doing. Whatnot 124. So we know what happened to it when we go back in here. Okay. So one last thing. And it is Soul Cycle. Wait a minute. 124. Jan January of 2024. Got it. I didn't put like Perfect. the actual yeah. date. So um, Soul Cycle. There it is. Awesome. And we can delist and relist. And yep. it already says awesome. bin A. That's a recent one. We'll delist and relist. And that's what we've been doing in every single bin. So we're kind of playing detective a little bit. We had the Martha's, the Vineyard Vine sweatshirt that was in the wrong bin. We had one that we pulled out for the show, deleted that. And so, yeah, like you just go through bin by bin and it really cleans everything up. And 
I do it all from Vendu. And that's how we do it. Mm. Okay, friends, that is where I'm gonna end today's vlog. Did you have a good day today, Lumpy? I hope it was helpful to see how we actually went through the inventory, however, you know, organized or disorganized it may seem. We are getting one step closer to decluttering not only the house, but my inventory as well. And also these 48 items that we have for whatnot for the whatnot show on Sunday will also help. If you would like to join me on my whatnot show, remember it is Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna sign up. If you sign up using my link, you'll be able to get $15 off your first purchase. Thank you guys so much. Happy decluttering. Mwah. Who's a good boy? You wanna go aside? You wanna go aside? Mm. All right, bye everybody. Thank you for watching.